Strong still follow human for now. Okay, I have my second Fallout 4 video here. And in this video, I will be showing you how to replace the main menu wallpaper, or video rather, it's actually a video, though some of you may just be calling it a wallpaper. Now, you can use this video to replace the um, other videos in Fallout 4, but I'm going to explain for a second why that's not such a great idea. So if I go to the Fallout 4 video folder here, the intro video, the main menu loop I should say, not the intro video, the one that plays at the main menu screen, has no audio, which is a good thing. Now if I go to the Fallout 4 video folder here, you can see these are .bk2 files, bink2 files, and they are compressed using bink2. However, the bink2 compressor is not really available for use. It's um, as you can see here, you have to be a licensed customer to get the software development kit, which contains the Bink2 compressor. So basically, we can only really make Bink1 videos. And when Fallout 4 goes to decode a Bink1 video, it doesn't decode the audio. So if you wanted to replace a video that contains audio, it wouldn't really work. So like the game intro here, you can hear this has audio. I don't know if I have my um, recording software set up to record the computer sounds, but that video has audio. So the audio that's used is contained within the video itself, which means if we were to replace it, we wouldn't really get any audio because we're using the Bink 1 format and it won't really read the audio. However, for the main menu video, it has no audio. The audio is on a separate track in the sound archive for Fallout. So what I'm basically saying is that if you want to replace a video in Fallout 4 with a video you have that has audio, Fallout 4 won't play back the audio because we can't compress it with the Bink 2 compressor. So with that out of the way, uh, I'm going to get down to it. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want rad video tools. So go to radgametools.com, I'll put it in the description and download rad video tools and go ahead and install that and as you can see like i was saying it has the bink compressor which is what we're going to be using once that's installed you're obviously going to want a video to use for the main menu video so i have one set up here if i can find it All right, let's see here. This is the video here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the video that you want to use to replace the main menu loop over to the rad video folder. So wherever you installed it, the drive letter you installed on, program files x86, rad video, or if you installed it elsewhere, just copy paste it over there. We have to do this because when you open up rad video here and you try to convert a video file that's not in this folder it says it can't read the video now you want the video you're using to match the aspect ratio not necessarily the resolution but the aspect ratio of your game otherwise I tested this with a 4x3 video and what it did is it used the top right of the video as an anchor point and anchor that at the top right of the screen. So I had like a 4x3 video. So I pretty much had a 4x3 video going like this and the rest of this area was black. So yeah, you want to make sure the resolution or the aspect ratio of the video you're using matches the aspect ratio of your game. Not necessarily the resolution. Um, I tested videos at both 30 and 60 frames per second, and they both work fine. So that's something you don't really need to worry about. Now with the video you're replacing the main menu loop with, inside the rad video folder, you're going to want to double click radvideo.exe. And you're going to find that video. And then on the bottom left here, you're going to click bink it. And I uncheck compress audio because as I was saying earlier, 
Fallout 4 will not really properly decode Bank 1 audio. So, I mean, if you want to, you can leave this checked, but it really doesn't make too much of a difference. And on the top here where it says the name of your file, change the .bik to .bk2. Now this won't technically be a Bink2 video. It will still be encoded using the Bink1 codec, although it will have the file extension .bk2, which is what we're going to want. And once you've done that, just click Bink. And depending on the size and length of your video, this actually may take quite a while. It's also heavily dependent on your processor. Okay, when it's all finished, just click Done. And you can close out of Rad Video Tools. And the video will have saved in the Rad Video folder. You want to copy that. Then go to your Fallout folder. Shall be, um, well, depending on where you start it. But the default location is the drive letter, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout 4. And you get the Fallout 4 folder, go to data and go to video and paste that video. Now find main menu loop.bk2 and rename it. So you can right click rename or hit the F2 key. Actually, you may not see these file extensions to begin with. So you might want to go ahead and enable that. So go to the Windows search bar here, type show hidden or begin to type it at least and you'll see here it says show hidden files and folders. Click that and here you can see it says hide extensions for known file types. Uncheck that and click OK. Now you can rename the main menu loop.bk2 to main menu loop.bk2.bak. And just it's going to ask you if you want to change it, it may make it unusable, just click yes. And now find the file you're replacing the main menu loop with and rename that to main menu loop. OK, um, just an editing note. If you're familiar with other Bethesda games, specifically uh, for this example, Oblivion, let me open up this folder here, you may say that, oh, well, you actually did not need to rename main menu loop.bk2. You could have just gone into the any and added the line s main menu movie and assign the name of the video for the value. Um, I did try that and it actually does not work. Now I know Bethesda have been pretty much taking the same engine and overhauling it for each game for years now so I do not know why this setting does not work um, but yeah it doesn't. Also something I noticed in other videos I because I know better this really pisses me off I call these variables. They're not variables. Variables change at runtime so if you're watching if you ever watch another video of mine for you know like a tutorial and you hear me say that these are variables, um, like smack me because they're not. So yeah, um, on to editing note number two. Okay, editing note number two. Now, hopefully you watch the whole video, although most people skip through it. But uh, you may recall at the beginning I said that the main menu loop video actually uses a separate audio track that's stored in the sound archive. So when you go ahead and boot up the game you get to the main menu you have your video playing but you actually have that um, main theme playing as the audio so if you want to replace that I have a video showing you how to replace audio so I'm not going to go over the whole thing here uh, but I will put up on the screen in editing the name of the and the name and location of the file you're going to want to replace to replace the main theme at the main menu uh, keep in mind that at any other point in this game they may use the main theme and that will be replaced as well okay now back to the video for real I think alright and once you're done that you're actually pretty much done this is a pretty simple thing open up Fallout 4 launcher play and I should just say that it's going to loop the video that you had so it's going to keep looping it for as long as you're there. So you may want to make the video a little longer than this video I have here, but this was just for an example. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And thanks for watching.